Hello and welcome uh, to this little short webinar on how to import new uh, import projects um, into the new Storybook Creator 4.0. And so I'm going to just say open an existing project and then um, we're going to open a project. The other way you can just open it up here. Go to the place on your computer where you have all of your storybooks located. So then you can just choose one that you want to um, open. And we're going to go to this one and we'll click on open. And then you have these options. You've got images, the recycle, and the manifest projects. That is the, pro that is the file that you need to open to open up the 3.0 storybook files. So we'll click on open. And then um, if you want to add any pages to that project it, or make changes to be able to save them, you're going to have to convert it to 4.0 version in order to do that. And um, I personally like the new look of the 4.0 because it's nice and clean and, and really nice. So um, we're just waiting for it to come in. <laughs> and um, there are some new changes and, and new, new options that you can use in this project, in, in this new Storybook Creator 4. So in order to um, save this project in a 4.0, we're going to click on File, Save Project As, and then we're going to do Save Project As. And then right here, you're going to name that project. Now what I have been doing is I put 4.0v. That means that I have saved that in version 4.0. And then this is where it's going to save it. Down here is, do you want to save it in 4.0 project or a 3.0? I want to save it in 4.0 so I can make changes and add pages as needed. And then it, oh dear, I shouldn't have done that. So then you're going to convert the, the whole book. And I think I'll cancel it and hopefully I can finish that later. And... Um, the other thing is that you'll notice you've got the welcome screen right here, up here in this corner, and then you've got the name of the projects here, and it's not going to cancel. Dang it. Hello, and welcome to... Um, this short video on how to open your projects uh, in the new Storybook 4.0. And uh, you can either click here to uh, create a new project, open an existing project or page, or you can use the options up here. I'm going to click here. I'm going to open a project. And you'll go to the project where the place on your hard drive where you save all of your storybooks. And I want to open uh, this particular one. And I'll, you can either double click or click open. You've got images, the recycle, and you click on manifest.projectx. Uh, click on open. And it's going to open up that project. And then in order to be able to uh, add more pages to this project, you're going to have to save it in the 4.0 version. And I'm going to show you how to do that next as soon as it comes in. Okay, here's our uh, pages. So we're going to click on File. We're going to do Save and Save Project As. Um, that's not what I wanted it to do. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to cancel that. Go back to this, file, save as, and then I'm going to go back. It keeps disappearing on me. Save project as. Okay, you got to catch that screen first. Okay, now the thing that I've been doing is I click 4.0v. That means that this is version Storybook 4.0 version. This is where it's going to save it. 
And this is where you can select a 4.0 or a 3.0 project. And then you'll click Save As. And I'm not going to click it because it'll take a while to convert this book. Uh, so we'll just cancel that right there. Okay, you'll notice on this File and then Save As, you can save a project as, you can export current page, export multiple pages. This is where you're going to select to um, save your pages so you can post them to Facebook. And so I've got it going into um, uh, my export folder. You can change the browse and where you want it to go. So I want it to go into my exchange folder. And I'll just click OK. Do you want to do all 24 pages? Do you want to do the current page? You'll click Export. This is the next window that comes up. And you're going to click the down arrow because 300 is too much to upload to Facebook or to send in an email. You're going to want 150 or less. Usually I do 150. And then you'll click OK. And it saves that page into your Exchange folder or the folder on your desktop where you wanted to save your page. Now, then you'll go into Facebook and you can upload your page. Um, you'll notice that there is a welcome screen. You can click to the welcome screen to go back. You can uh, manage your content, buy content. You can watch tutorials. And these are really good, so I suggest you watch those. You can have three projects open at once, and they'll be listed across the top, and you can switch back and forth. If I go to the Content Manager, and I go to Manage My Content, I'm going to show you that that opens up another little window, uh, another little tab that you can look at all of your, um, pro your um, packages that you have. And then to switch back, I just go to my book that I was working on, and I've got that back. Um, I'm going to go to a different page, so I can just kind of show you some of the th new things. And uh, let's bring in a photo. We'll just drag a photo on. And... Um, so some of the new things, let's see, you can, um, you can rotate it. You just click Rotate, and it rotates your page or your picture, whichever you're going to do. And it's not doing it. Okay, come on. Rotate. You can rotate it 90 degrees. It rotates your picture right there. It's so easy. Um, if you add a paper... I wanted to show you this one because it is cool. Um, we're going to say make that the background. And then you've got, uh, this is the new thing. You can coordinate your colors, which I think is a great feature. Is that not coming in? Current background cannot be changed because it is locked. Oh, okay. I guess I better read the messages instead of just clicking. Okay. Make it your background. I had to unclick the background to make it unlocked. Then, what you'll do when you want to coordinate your colors, let me make this a little bit smaller. If I can, it's going to let me. Um, is you click on the object that you really want to coordinate things with. So, let's make this go a little bit smaller. Okay. Now, I'm going to click on Coordinate Colors. And it brings up another little screen that you can select the different views that you want to have that coordinate with. And let's do, I kind of like this one. So we'll do that one. And we'll click OK. And it changes your paper. Now, if you have embellishments, it'll do the same thing. And um, you'll be able to coordinate the colors on your pages. Um, the next thing that we'll cover is our format ribbon. And I think we'll just call that 
a day because we can't have these be too long to use um, YouTube. Anyway, we're going to go to Format. We have um, new filters. So if you click on Filters, and uh, you've got, they've got them broken out into different sections, different groups. So you're artistic. You can diffuse, you can do a rough painting, an oil painting, angle spray, a facial map, a factual map, sorry. You can stylize, stylize. Um, you can do, um, you can show edges, you can do a canny edge, and yeah, let's just do show edges, and we'll just do apply. And you can adjust the smoothness and, and adjust, use the color if you want. And if you want to have a better video on how to use these, I suggest you join the Pixels to Pages team uh, face, uh, group because they have all kinds of videos that are just awesome. And you'll want to be able to pick up on some of that. So this just changes our picture. And it does the outlines and saves our color. And it kind of looks like a drawing instead of the picture. So um, I suggest that you try some of these new features and uh, uh, enjoy. I've enjoyed 4.0 and really have a lot of fun. Oh, before I close, if you want to, if you've undone something and you think, oh, I don't want to undo that, you can do redo and it'll put it right back. So um, until you change, change, save the page and change pages, that feature will be there. Anyway, have a great day. Thanks for watching.